Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevDecti. Today I will show you how to easily use the Twitter REST API because there are many questions out there asking how to get the timeline, how to post, and it's a bit tricky to sign your requests and all that stuff. And that's why I created a AngularJS library acting as a wrapper for this REST API. And I will show you how to use this library and maybe I can motivate you to use it as well because it makes the complete process really really easy and I will demonstrate how to use it with a simple ionic project so I will start a blank project right now and we will go through everything we need on the fly so my ng twitter needs an OAuth token and keys from the Twitter app you need to create and I will show you how to do this very soon. So first of all we can install the ng Twitter API which is my library and also I want to install ng Cordova which will help us to grab the OAuth token and at the moment we need to take the master branch because there are some unmerged changes which we really really need for our app to work okay so additionally I'm a bit lazy we need two Cordova plugins the first one is the in-app browser which comes up when the OAuth dialog appears and additionally with the new version of Cordova we need the whitelist plugin because we need to access external resources and otherwise this would get blocked. Okay let's go to our index HTML and I'm still a bit lazy so copy or insert this three lines above Cordova so this is ng Cordova you should find it here this is the ng Twitter API which is my library and additionally we need this encryption library and you can find it I have a link in the blog post and also on my library and at the moment we need to take the tag 1.6 so this goes to uh, no to the lib folder okay so now it should be right here and here it's included so let's go to our app.js and add the dependencies to our array so we want to use ng Cordova and we want to use ng Twitter okay one more thing you need to have an app created at apps.twitter.com and I already have this app and you need to copy some keys from this page which are those two and if you want your app to post to your timeline make sure the app has the access level read and write because I once had it on read and I was just not able to get why it's not working so make sure you have both permissions because we want to use the timeline and the writing in this tutorial okay additionally I will copy the complete body because well we can go through it it's not very special we have a controller which we will create or we can do right now just the app controller and well we will see what we need in a second okay so we have the app controller we have a header bar and we also have a text input field 
which is modeled to a scope variable with a max length of 140 like Twitter has and a small button to submit our tweet. So this is for posting a tweet. We also have a pull to refresh view at the top which will refresh our home timeline view and the interesting part is down here where we iterate over our home timeline array and create very simple cards for each post with well the user profile image the name we call a function which we will implement to correct the time string and we will have the entry text which is just the text of the tweet and if there is image we will also show the image so there are a lot of things in the twitter rest response so just yeah, check it out yourself. There are many things you can do or grab from there. And once you get that response, everything will get simple and you can do whatever you like. So let's go to our app.js and implement the controller. We will need the ionic platform ready function and the Twitter API, which is the dependency from our ng Twitter and we need Cordova OAuth which will help us to do the social login. If you followed my tutorial on the official Ionic blog you might know a bit of this code right here. So we have a Twitter key which is well whatever you like. This is your Twitter storage Twitter key and here we will save our OAuth token. If you got a better idea, let me know. So here's our client ID and our client secret. And those are the two right here in your Twitter app. So just copy them and you're good to go. And finally, let's have a variable for our token once the app is running. And this is for our tweet message we can compose. Okay. Next, the Ionic platform ready function. And, okay, sorry. At this point, we want to check if we have a token stored in our window local storage and that's where we need our Twitter key. So maybe our user has already logged in and we can just take that token. But if my token is still empty or maybe it's null. We should log in the user again. And at this point we need ng Cordova which makes it really simple. So thanks at Nick for making all those functions for social login. So just pass the client ID we define up here and the client secret and it should return a promise which is hopefully our token. And at this point if we got the token we want to set the item for our Twitter key which is this token the JSON stringified. Okay, I hope this is clear to everyone what we are doing here. If not, just ask a question below or tweet me something. And, and now we can use our magic Twitter API and before we can actually use all those routes we need to once call this Twitter API configure. 
this is very important because this sets up the basic authentication and well this will use all this stuff in the future requests so this is very important and obviously if we can grab a OAuth token from the storage we can just use write this to configure our Twitter API at this point in the else part and okay maybe we can include an error function just in case okay I will alert it so I can see it okay so when this login is successful either this or this one we want to call show home timeline to update our home timeline okay perfect now this was the hard part of this tutorial trust me so the next one is really really simple because our show home timeline function will again just use the Twitter API and call get home timeline and this is really everything you need to do to get this complete user home timeline response which is in the promise here and at this point we want to fill our home timeline array with the data we just received and that's everything to grab the home timeline data you can include an optional parameter here so if you go to the rest api and check for well what's it home timeline you can see optional parameter count for example so if you just want to have some tweets you can include this parameter here and this will give you just 10 and this is the way you can use on all those functions there are not very much functions at the moment in ng twitter but there will come a lot more in the next few days or weeks and you can also help to create some because there are a lot but I will I think it's very easy to map all those and once we got all of them it will be really easy for us so show home timeline is working at this point I guess and ah, okay yeah it looks better so the second one was to submit a tweet and this is just post status update and we should pass the tweet we wrote in our field so as you can see it's modeled to tweet.message and it's exactly what we give you could also include an optional parameter at this point but we don't need this right now and once we've submitted it we will return something but that's not really interesting at this point so we will again just call show home timeline so our timeline will get updated then we got the pull to refresh function which is again should update our timeline and okay I will make it a bit easier I will just broadcast the scroll finish event at this point yeah I could also do it here but well whatever for this demo it's okay and finally we got the correct time string function which receives a string which is the timestamp we got from the Twitter response and this should return a new date with 
just a bit better formatting of our timestamp string. And I guess that's everything we need. So let's give it a try. Uh, let me mention I'm on a Mac, you can't build for iOS if you're not on the Mac. And additionally, all this OAuth and social login stuff will not work in the browser. So please deploy it to the simulator or an iOS device. Otherwise, nothing will work. And hopefully, our app is already working now. But most of the time, oh well. Okay, so you see, you saw the simple interface and this is the social login dialog. So let me insert my credentials. Okay, I have authorized the app and it's redirecting and here we go. As you can see, all the tweets, including images, including the profile picture, with the text and a lot more. And in really no time, this is no problem for anyone to implement. And that's exactly the reason why I created ng Twitter. So let's test our second function. So there are some problems regarding special characters. I'm working on it. So if you can't get it working with, let's say, a dot or I'm not sure which characters it is, just try it with a very simple sentence without any characters just to make sure everything's working. So let's try it out. And this is a demo tweet from my Twitter. So this is real, this is not just edit at this point. I could show you, but yeah, trust me, I guess I'm not logged in. Okay, so here's really my demo tweet. Everything's working at this point. I will delete it because, yeah, it's a, no, I don't need that tweet. Okay, that was very fast, very easy, and okay, let's try to pull the refresh. Yes, I deleted my tweet everything works as expected. If you got any questions, just tweet me. I would be very happy if I get a star on my repository or yeah, submit an issue or pull a request. Let's work on this because this is really a pain for a lot of you and this wrapper makes stuff really easy. So thanks for listening. Join DevDactic mailing list or subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive all of those videos every week and have a nice day. Thanks for listening.